be excellent to each other. This is Chris and Dean from GameWithSwag.com. We're here today to review Bill and Ted's Excellent Board Game by Steven Jackson Games. And I cannot tell you, Dean, how excited I am that this even exists. You do love your, uh, some Bill and Ted. Bill and Ted is one of the most underrated franchises that are probably of the, of the late 80s, early 90s. I feel like it's appropriately rated. <laughs> <laughs> Keanu Reeves is the man. And still, no likes, love, no he love actually likes... Winter? Alex Winter does a great job too, but he and and the late George Carlin. George Carlin. Yeah. So, but Keanu owns up to this movie, right? He's yeah. all about it. In fact, they've been trying to get Bill and Ted three off the ground for years. I don't know how. That's and I don't know how it's going to work now. I don't he's, know. He's, it they're kind of going to be good. Yeah, Alex Winter definitely is showing some age, and, and Keanu is too. So sure. But anyway, so they bottom line, time. right. Cool. Yeah, and they so, were old at, in that one part of the second one, right? Didn't they go? Yeah, that's right. Went so, away for a long time. So, just to kind of give you a, like a quick overview, if you don't know what Bill and Ted is, I don't know why you're watching this if you have it, but anyway. So, Bill and Ted are two teenagers that are inside San Dimas, a fictional city in California, and they have a history report due. And they have to give an oral presentation. And of course, they're slackers and they have nothing done. But one day, Rufus from the future comes in a telephone booth and says they need to help save the world. Mm -hmm. And if they don't pass their history report, the world will end or something. Bad things will happen. So what they have to do is they end up taking this time travel machine, aka phone booth, and they dial different numbers and travel through time to acquire real life historical figures. People like Napoleon or Genghis Khan um, are Socrates, as yes. he's called in the movie. Is that Abe Lincoln? I think it's Abraham Lincoln as well. Yeah. And there's some other ones as well. Joan of Arc and that kind of thing. That's the first movie. And that's kind of what this is based off of. Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. I actually kind of like the second one more. Really? I like the first one more. That's I like funny. The, I don't know why. The second, the second one, one is where silly. they die. They get they get bad Bill and Ted and they get killed, pushed off a cliff. They Spoiler. have some fun like film homage. Like they do. Seventh Seal. And yeah, they do. <laughs> they do. The second, they're both fun movies. They're both really fun. They're nonsense. So, all right. Let's take a look and see what's going all on right, here. So, so Steven Jackson thing. Games, thank you so much for sending this to us. I love me some Bill and Ted. And I had no clue this existed until I visited their website. So that's, yeah. that's pretty cool. So we'll check it out. Some some licensed games are oh yeah difficult. Yeah, you well, take a, not, you not difficult. a license on something. Crappy. I'm hoping. Crappy. Yeah, I'm hoping this is uh yeah. this could be some fun. Have some moments. I have there. faith that Steven Jackson Games put out some really good stuff. We've got some fun. Oh, he does. Ugh. Here we go. Okay, so this is actually a board game. There is a board to it. All right. You got the directions. No, I've seen a couple Steven Jackson games. It's pretty consistent, nice, mm -hmm. colorful. Yeah, I like their easy manuals because they're, they're easy to read and easy to understand, which is good. Well, excellent. All right, got some punch out tokens. Uh, Lincoln, Napoleon, Beethoven, Genghis Khan, Billy, Joan, Socrates, Freud, and the princesses. That's right. They go through time and they find the princesses. Yeah, yeah. Um, I love those princesses. You can see it's a decent thickness to the cardboard. So this is for two to four players. It's about 30 minutes to play around, um, which is pretty quick. And uh, it retails for about twenty four ninety five. dollars Is that bad? No, not at all. Proclaim your Munchkin love to the world. Of course, these are the makers of Munchkin. And they mm -hmm. advertise the Joko Cruise. If you guys know Jonathan Colton, he wrote the Portal songs and stuff huh. like that. He has his own uh, fun cruise ship. That's pretty cool. Or him and a bunch of other like musical comedy people. That's an interesting thing to have jammed yeah. in there. So here you go. Some Joko love. If you're listening to some Jonathan Colton. Dean, look. Fruity Senior drinks. Brains. You like fruity drinks. Hells yes. You give me a rum. And I like robots. Like I'm all about. I would like to go to these. I think they go out of. Um, they go out of California. Oh. I think it's like a five day cruise or something like that. They do. He does it every year. Nice. It's one of those things I'd love to do, but I don't think my wife cares about Jonathan Colton, so that would be hard sell. Yeah, it would. Okay, so um, these are gonna kind of punch out some stuff there. Oh I'm yeah, yeah. Kind of show you here. I'll punch. I'll cut so basically, we're gonna travel across the circuits of history because that's how it works. You travel the phone circuits. You collect personages of personages. No. Personages. Personages of historical significance pass your history report and determine the fate of society because the Wild Stallions and their music will guide society to peace. 
Kind of like the guy who animates zits drew these. That's kind of the style. It might even be that person. I don't know who. Huh. Very it interesting. Has, it has that kind of flavor. Getting yelled at by adults, you know, because parents just don't understand. Rufus showing up. So these little pink things um, are kind of your directionals. Those are your cards you're going to end up shuffling all Cowboys six. There's 60 of those cards. Cute lady lady leg going on here. Mm -hmm. There's Mr. Uh, Mr. Socrates. If I remember the movie, which I haven't seen in a while, maybe these are all moments from it. I don't fully recall. It's them and... Uh, the knight. Suits of armor. Knight armor, yep. Meeting the princesses. This guy is disapproving of whatever they're doing. This is, they're about to get beheaded. But it's their buddies. Oh man, this is them when they, when they wax poetic. So we're going to play cards and collect characters that you place in your play area, which the space is immediately surrounding your player marker. Um, so your player marker are these colored ones right here. Well, these are on order. I've been messing them up. So no, they're not in order. Um, aren't they? It's an ascending number on the bottom. They're, they're values. 35, 36. It's called the initiative button. Oh, okay. Um, and the Roll initiative, initiative button is your value. So they may be in order in the like how they come, but they're not. Hey -oh. You're going to shuffle them. So the phone booth will rotate and travel across the board <clears throat> according to your movement buttons on the character and the cards you play in your area. At any point when you have no characters, including the first turn, your only cards affect your phone booth. Symbols always take effect from left to right. Move the characters of unique movement buttons to show two arrows. So you can see the movement. Movement button right there. And some of them have two, where you go uh, two directions. There's one. Yeah, so in that in that case, um, you would go... Oh, right phone and booth. back. See phone booth, boom. Yeah, you would go left, you, you read them left to right. Okay. So you'd go to the corner one first. How excited Abe Lincoln is. So when your phone booth moves to space containing a character that you've not already collected, um, you can pick it up and place it to the left of your other characters face down. Movement is revealed at the end of your turn. First character you've collected, place immediately to your left. Blah, blah, blah. There's also evil dudes. You want to make sure you don't get evil dudes. And yeah, they're, yeah. they're represented by the, uh, the evil dude symbol. Wild Stallion! Which is the, that right, yeah, the evil dude symbol. Oh, uh, the sheriff star? Yeah. Alright. Okay. Yeah, lots of unique, uh, I don't know that any of the cards repeated, so lots of artwork. Yeah. For those who love artwork. This is the evil dude, so the token, there's an evil dude guy, and there is a shield, which must be a good guy. Yes. One of Joan of Arc's knights, perhaps? That's probably what it is. All right. Cool. There's a little deck of cards. So, if you're moving... You're moving, and let's say you one of your movement cards says to go this way, you actually end up around the board. Oh, like Pac-Man. Exactly like Pac-Man. <laughs> That's correct, Dean. So, the end of the game, basically, um, and at the end of the round, when a player should draw cards, there's none left to draw. Rounds complete, the player with the most characters that they picked wins the game. And remember, you can only have one of each, so you can't pick up, like, three Socrates. you got to have... Um, you can't have three Socrates? No. The winner forms wild stallions and brings utopian harmony to civilization as we know it. Everyone else is sent to Oates Military School in Alaska. Oh, no. There's one special card, Dean, and I have to read this. Okay. The initiative button on one card shows the number 69. When oh. that card is used, the player may choose, though it's not required to shout, 69, dudes! as the card is revealed. If any single digit initiative buttons were revealed this round, the 69 button counts as the lowest initiative button revealed. If no other players revealed a single digit initiative button, the 69 special ability is ignored. So it's a, oh. like, almost like a wild card type. Wild Stallions! So the fact that that one line in the movie made it into the card game <laughs> impresses me greatly. There you go, this is the card right here. There it is. So that's that initiative down there. Um, so again, when that card's used, the player may choose, um, excuse me, any single digit initiative buttons were revealed that round. The 69 button counts as the lowest initiative revealed. Which I guess there's about 60 cards. 
Oh, it goes up to 50. Yeah, so there's a planning phase and there's then the movement phase. It goes to 59 goes. and then it goes to 69. So 69 is kind of out from the others. So you got a one in six chance of someone playing a single digit. Right. Theoretically. Yeah, and that's your turn order, the initiative button. So cool. Very cool. Well, I'm looking forward to trying this out because I think um, Dave is a big Bill and Ted fan. I'm not sure about Brad. But Dave is definitely know. a Bill and Ted fan. There you go. And we'll watch the movie. While I, we I was play. saying before we started this video that I don't think I've seen it in the last decade. I don't well, remember a lot of the first one. Dean, it's available it's been, on Blu-ray. It's been some time. It you, is available. You buy that. What? Yeah, do you not already own it? No, because I was waiting for a double pack because the second one I don't why, think Why do you is. need a double pack? Well, it's, because I don't think the second one exists. It's only on DVD. Even now? Uh, I'm going to look it up right now. Why don't you buy a digital copy? on Amazon or something. That's not a Blu-ray disc. I need the disc. Then you can watch it at your leisure or whatever. You don't have to get up and put it in the machine. You just be like, you know, play this thing. Oh, there is a double pack. Oh! No excuses. You gotta buy it right no. now. I, 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 not for $29. Right now. Live on camera. No. Buy it. Show I'm your credit card. Show my credit card on camera. Not a true fan. $30. You hear that? I was telling you guys to buy this $25 game, you won't even buy a $30 set of the movies. And there's no bonus features on it. <sighs> it was, the way it wasn't, did they even film any back then? Uh, the other disc apparently Retrospective? does. Retrospective? Alright. But that's the only way to get Bogus Journey on Blu-ray. Alright, I'll talk Chris into buying that at some point. Uh, folks. I'll, I'm going to own it eventually. I have it on DVD. We'll put it in your watch, your wish list, that way you can see if the price drops. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's very true. It's your cheapskate. I am. So there you go. This is stupid. I talk about this a lot though. I love these boxes that they stick. Because I always have to transport all my crap around. So I like when they're hard to come apart so it doesn't fall apart in the back of your car. Yeah. It's like. The board game, like the board itself sealed. is really thick and the players, like the cardboard on the um, tokens and the players felt thick too. So, you know, it looks like it's pretty much quality. <laughs> Steven Jackson always does an awesome job. I really like the artwork on it. Um, I can't believe this exists, but I'm so glad that it does. Um, you know, I, they really felt the spirit of what Bill and Ted is. There you and, go. And uh, hope it plays I'm, well. I'm pretty impressed. Gonna give it a try. It's cool, man. Very good. Hey, we want to thank Stephen Jackson Games for letting us review this. Uh, we'll have a full go written go review. Relax. Yeah, go on a cruise on the Joko cruise. And uh, we will post a link in the show notes when we have our full review up after we play with our friends. And. Uh, yeah, please like, comment, subscribe, and let us know what you think. If you like Bill and Ted, if you hate Bill and Ted, um, if you think it's one of uh, Keanu Reeves' best work, or if you think it's Alex Winter's best work, um, it's just I don't know, man. Lost Boys. I, I know, I know. He's got some He's good ones Lost too. Boys. I love Lost. George Boys. George Carlin has some really good movies too. Uh, his stand-up specials. He's in other movies. Like Name Jay one. and Silent Bob Strike Back. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's okay in some stuff. Yeah. It's not known for his film career. That's not his strength. That's true. All right, very good. Hey, listen. Thank you guys so much for watching. And remember, be excellent to each other.